You're playing a dangerous game dating Luis. Sadly, someone's going to be burned. You have Luis thinking it's possible for a crane and a commoner to have a lasting relationship. This Hank fellow seems to think he has a chance with you two. Meanwhile, poor Beth is living in limbo, future on hold until you decide which of these suitors, if any, you want to keep around for a while. You think I'm cavalier about other people's feelings, and I'm not. Facts are facts. You hold these people's lives in the palm of your hand. You alone have the power to play them like pawns on a chessboard. But eventually, they'll all reach checkmate, and the only one to emerge unscathed will be you. That's not what I want. It's inevitable. You'll go back to living the good life. But for Hank, Beth, and Luis, going back to their old lives will be difficult, if not impossible, for you'll have left nothing but a trail of heartache and misery in your wake. Is that what you... You want for these people? Or don't you care what happens to them as long as you have your fun? As I said, you hold these people's lives in your hands. It makes you more of a crane than you could ever imagine. I don't want to hurt anyone. Come now, Sheridan. Aren't you doing what Luis accuses all of us of doing, trampling on people, ruining innocent lives to get what we want? What father and I do for power and money, aren't you doing for love? And won't Luis hate you when this whole thing ends in disaster? Which, of course, it will. I know you, sir, and even better than you know yourself. Eventually, you'll get bored and move on to the next thing that amuses you. Who are you to say I'll get bored, Julian? What if Luis is the man I've spent my life looking for? Luis is literally the man of my dreams. The tall, dark stranger that I've seen in my head a thousand times. What if Luis is the right man for me and we end up spending the rest of our lives together? All right, let's play a quick game of what if. What if you and Luis continue your relationship? Would the man of your dreams be the husband of a rich woman? The husband of a crane, no less? If it can't work out, in your heart you know it can't, then why lead Luis on? Why hurt him? Unless you just don't care. What if Julian's right? What if a relationship with Luis is hopeless after all? There you go. Oh, thank you, Beth. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can get you? No, I'm fine, thanks. Well, who wouldn't be after a date with Luis? It wasn't really a date, it was just dinner. Oh, even so, just spending time with Luis is always special. He's a great guy. He's the best. So thoughtful and caring. You know, he's, he's always been like that. Uh, that's right. You've known Louis since high school, haven't you? Oh, uh, we dated for years. It was the happiest time of my life. But it was hard financially for the family after his father disappeared, and Pilar was struggling to make ends meet. So once Luis got out of high school, he felt that supporting his family had to be his main priority. So he broke things off. He, he didn't think it was fair to me not to be able to make a total commitment. No one takes relationships more seriously than Luis. He's not one to just um, casually date. I see. Luis doesn't always show it, but he's one of the most sensitive men that I have ever known. He gave his whole heart to me when we were dating. But when it ended... He, even though it was amicable, it, it hit him hard. I remember he just shut down his feelings and he did what he had to do to take care of his family. He hasn't dated much since. I just hate to see Luis get hurt like that again. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Sure. Maybe Julian has a point. Maybe I shouldn't see Luis anymore. Sheridan. 
How you doing? Good. Thanks. You? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Are you ready to go? Yes. I'm looking forward to our date. Well, I know we're gonna have a great time tonight. 